hey guys so i know it's been a while but i'm back and i am wearing the janet oscar wig and here's the stock card so you can see she is a really curly unit let me guys show you the back on the stock card she does have the invisible lace parting as indicated here i did purchase this wig from where I typically purchase it, and that is wig types in the color 1B. She does come in a few different colors, so I typically like to do the 1B because I feel like it's more natural in color, but I definitely love the curls on this wig, and I know you're probably thinking she looks a little similar to a few of the other wigs that I posted, but hey, I love big curly hair so this is no different so let's talk about what i love about this wig i love that for one she is big head friendly as you guys can see i don't have the most uh, petite head so for any larger head girl she definitely is uh for us so i would say that the head cap is definitely stretchable in the back there is a clip where you can snap it together so it gives you a little bit more security there are a few combs throughout the wig there are uh, maybe one or two on the back uh, and some on the side i typically don't use hair clips just because they can be a little aggravating uh, if you're wearing your wig you know all day so i'll tend to just use bobby pins and it helps me to put it in my hair and just use that for security but for the most part the wig is large and friendly but it's a little snug so it's not too snug and it's not too loose if that makes sense i love the texture of the wig i would say it's more of a yakky type of texture so it's not too shiny uh, when i did purchase it it was a little shiny out of the pack but i put some dry shampoo you can purchase that from your local beauty supply store or from walmart so you just spray a little bit and it helps to to take away the shine i have been wearing this wig for some time so as you know when you first get some of these wigs out of the pack it's not just gonna be wearable you gotta have you gotta play with it and make it your own so that's what i pretty much did with this wig so combing it out to my liking like i said i like the look of the voluminous curls so this is the look that that i prefer but it is definitely one of those wigs that i would say is manageable but not straight out of the pack so you don't just totally you know count it out when you see it out of the pack and it doesn't look like this if you like this look you gotta like i said play around with it i've been wearing a wig for you know a few weeks now it has given me some tangling here so it's starting to kind of you know bush up at the bottom but you know for the price point of the wig i think that it's not a deal breaker let me get a little closer for you guys it does have parting that extends back here to the middle if you have some concealer or uh, some type of foundation powder you can put it here in the middle to kind of match uh, your tone and complexion a little better i didn't really have to do a lot with the parting space in this particular wig it kind of already came with the pre uh, pluck part now what i did do was take my flat iron to flatten this area here with any wigs, sometimes they tend to be a little bulky in this particular area. So just to get it a little flat and a little bit more natural looking, I did take a flat iron and flatten this particular area here. So I will leave the information for this wig in the link below. So let me know what you guys think about this particular wig. I mean, I love it, but you know, who am I? I want to know what you guys think about the wig. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and always remember it's always good to be beautiful on the outside but even better to be beautiful on the inside. So until next time, be good to one another and stay tuned for more from me.